Jedi Knights. The old Republic is crippled. They can do nothing to stop us now. But there is one thing standing in our way. One last Jedi who has yet to choose his true role in the galaxy. If he joins us on the path to darkness, those who fight alongside him will follow. But if he takes the path of a Jedi, those who join him will feel the vengeance of the dark side. Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Knights for a pop out the Sith Lords, the Act 3. And now for the last episode, we've already saw the conclusions of dealing with Atreus and learned for a fact that Kreia is not exactly her full name, but the name of Darth Treya. And the fact that, well, the fact that she has been a Sith all along and was able to not be a that we couldn't be able to sense it before was because she was exiled just like she said and was stripped from her power just like she said and this must be the current form that she now takes I was really hoping that it wasn't that she wasn't a Sith but she is and now her now Darth Treya's plan is that she wants to destroy all force sensitives, create a new kind of wound of, of the force, a new echo in the galaxy that would destroy the force. That's Jedi, Sith, and any other force sensitives. And she wants me there. Reasons why we don't know yet, but it's important that we get there, and if we refuse uh, to, she will kill herself, and because that she and I are connected, linked, because of the four spot between us, if she dies, I die. So right now we're trying to save Telos, because she uh, lured the enemy, uh, the Sith, uh, one of the Sith Lords that is leading the last uh, of the arm. Uh, one of the uh, legions of the Siths uh, to Telos to destroy it. If it goes, uh, then the Republic will crumble with it. We can't let that happen. And all of this happening because the, the Sith was able to learn of how they were able to gain a new power from me because of what I did at the Malachor 5 final battle. A mistake. Then I tend to rectify. Now, we're going to do what we can to save Telos and mount the defenses for Telos. Reinforcements is going to be coming, of not just from from the Republic, but from Dantooine, uh, that uh, the administrator sent uh, her best man, Saron, here with the militia and and then uh, incoming reinforcements from Queen Tally from Onderon. Now, let's see if this still works. Okay, for some reason, Mandalore it decides not to be unavailable for a moment. For a good reason, I'm sure. Alright guys, we need to have a staff me before we go any further. This is important. Now listen, everything what I've learned from the Jedi Council is all because of me. 
Everything that has happening now is all started because of what happened at the end of the Malcor 5, at the end of the Mandalorian Wars. Sole reason that the sole reason that they couldn't uh, that they exiled me is because for some reason that the force would my connections of attachments to force bonds would change them and that would go against their values like it probably does with most of you including you Mira and main Bador and and Visus. The droids I'm not sure about because they're just machines that couldn't be influenced by the force. Now listen, the Sith was able to be this much powerful because they were able to learn this from me because of what I have done. Every death that I have caused from every planet that we've encountered, I was grown in strength of the force but not myself. The Jedi Master say that I am the death of the Force, a wound in the Force. Thesis recently told me otherwise, that there's hope for the Force, hope for life. Now, this isn't just about winning a battle against the Sith or saving Telos. This is about whether or not the Jedi Council is right, that Kraya is right. Or that of you guys or thesis is right? Now, I cannot ask you to come with me um, because it will go against your values because you'll be influenced uh, of, of because of my actions, what I do, you would follow against your values, including killing people. Now, I know I have no right to ask of any of this to you. But I ask you guys to lend me your support one last time. Not just uh, for the sake of the galaxy, but for my sake. And uh, for the sake of the innocence of the people that we uh, are sworn to save from the Sith. I ask you to uh, head into battle with me one last time. That we save the galaxy and save lives uh, of the Force. And since the people in the galaxy, just like has gone Spy Revan once did. I thank you for being through all my journeys and through our, the hellish missions we've been through. Now, Let's go uh, kick the Sith's ass uh, and to uh, save the galaxy and to see whether or not once and for all if Kraya is right or wrong. We might die in this. I'm just going to point this out. We may die. Some of us might live. But if this is to be able to end in fire, then let us ignite the galaxy as we burn together. What has happened here, Cholo? How about? That's good. You should get off the station, Cholo. Take your herd, take your son, and go. There's no need then. I will drive the Sif away. 
This is my fold to begin with. No, it's not. If it is, I will change that destiny. Telos was destroyed once, and I will not let it happen again. I'll be going now. It's good to see you again, Mosa. Mandalore? I'll see you soon. Just watch your back. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. Look after your own health. So we're going to be receiving men and loyal reinforcements. That's good. At this point, we're going to need all the help we can get. There's Saron and the militia. Indeed, let's do this. Perseverance, GN style. Deflect a mini blaster or fire. Let's go! Charge! This one's locked. Let's switch up. I'm taking the joy tooth me. HK47 and T3. We'll see what we can do. All right, everyone, provide covering fire for the Jedi. Then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. Right. Ready to serve. Shields up. This is about to get hot. HK, you take points.
HK. Now that's over with. <sighs> These servers proven to be more dangerous than I thought if they managed to take HK out of the picture. Surf is really pulling all the brakes on these barricades, but now it's been a breakthrough. Now let's head up to the module 081. We're almost there to meet up the ra the meet up at the rap at the docking point. We'll take a shuttle to the Ravager, or hopefully we'll be taking the Ebon Hawk there. So long as the Ravagers still stands, this fab battle will keep going on, and Teos can't handle this much uh, punishment. I'm going to take a break after these messages, folks, so this has gone by the spy sign-off for now.